hello, welcome to Yoga with Katie. We're going to start the class in a lying down position. So make your way to lie down on the mat. Bend both knees, your spine will automatically release. Slightly tuck the chin in towards the chest so that your neck and your spine are aligned. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. One more breath and we're going to bend both knees. Wrap your arms around your knees. Rocking side to side. Coming into a circular motion if you like. Covering a bigger area. Knee to chest also help you to relieve back pain. And then we're going to go the other way. Slowly, slowly come back to center. We're going to drop both knee to the right side. Let it fall wherever it falls. Coming into a gentle twist. Shoulders are on the mat. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Taking a few breaths here. With every exhale breath, try to bring the top knee a little bit closer to the floor. One more breath, and we're going to slowly bring everything back to the center. Take an inhale first, exhale, drop both knee to the other side. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Coming into a gentle twist. Shoulders are still on the mat. Gentle twist here. One more breath here. We're going to slowly bring everything back to the center. Keep your knees bent. Coming into a figure four. Right ankle on left thigh, flex the foot. Push the right thigh out. Loop the hand through the opening, grab behind the left thigh. Right elbow, push the right thigh out. Now you can stay here if you like and lift the hand chest up. Neck and shoulders are relaxed. Figure four. Feel the stretch in the right hip flexor. Those who have sciatica condition, this may help you relieve some discomfort. One more breath, and we're going to slowly release. Switch side, opposite ankle, opposite thigh, flex the foot. Loop the hand through the opening, grab behind the right thigh. Left elbow, push the left thigh out. You can stay here if you like to lift the hand chest up. So figure four is the modification to pigeon. Taking a few breath here. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor. No tension in your neck or upper back. Now we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Keep your knees bent, going into the bridge pose. Your knees are two fists apart. Walk the heel, close your fingertips. If you like, you can place the block between your thighs. On the inhale, lift your hips high up, forming a bridge. Roll the shoulder in, underneath your bridge. Pull the knuckles towards the heels. Keeping your hips high, high up. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Your up and your glutes are firm. Strengthening the front abdominal muscles to support the spine, especially if you have back pain. One more breath here. And we're gonna release the hands from underneath your bridge. And we're gonna come up on the tippy toes, lifting the hip even higher up. All the ways in the shoulder, regular weights in the head or neck. Chin is almost touching the chest. A couple of 
couple more breath here. When you're ready, inhale the arms up and above the head, fingernails on the floor, cactus arms are fine. Keeping your hips high up for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release down, back down by your side. Release the heel back down. One vertebrae at a time, release the spine back down. Once you've come all the way down, you can remove your block. Windshield wiper, dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it fall. The knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Hips can come up. Hip release. I'm going to drop both knees to the right side, let it fall wherever it falls. If accessible, walking the left foot outside the mat, left hand on left leg, ankle, right foot on left thigh, dragging it a little bit lower. Upper body still on the mat. Now, if this is causing you some discomfort or a whole lot of pain, you can slowly come out of it. One more breath here, we're gonna slowly release. Take an inhale first, exhale, drop both knee to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. Make sure that that stay there. You should feel the stretch of the quadricep, hip joint. Now you can stay here. If you like more intensity, opposite foot, opposite thigh. Bring it a little bit closer. One more breath, and we're going to slowly release, bring everything back to the center. Straighten down the legs, back a few times. Point your left toes up to the ceiling, and we're going to slowly lift the right leg up, using abdominal muscles, hands behind the right kneecap, point and flex the right foot. Left toes are facing the ceiling, so both legs are engaged. Drawing circle in the sky, ankle rotation, and reverse. Sliding the head further up the leg, we'll grab a hold of the big toes, lifting the head, chest up, head to knee, hamstring stretch. Hello, you feel the stretch is good to go. No need to overstretch to pull a hamstring. One more breath, I'm going to release the head down, I'm down by your side, nice and slow. With control, we're going to release the right leg back down on the mat, bounce a few times. Point the right toes up to the ceiling, slowly lift up the left leg, using abdominal muscles, hands behind the left kneecap, point and flex the left foot. Drawing circle in the sky, ankle rotation, and reverse. Sliding the head further up the leg, grab a hold of the big toe, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee, hamstring stretch. Not having any tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. Slowly, slowly release. I'm down by your side. Nice and slow of control. We're going to release the left leg back down on the mat. Bounce a few times. Press firm on the mat, double leg lift. You should pull down the muscles to bring both legs up to the sky. And it's behind your kneecap, flex the feet. Let the blood circulate back to your heart. Helping you with circulation. One more breath. I'm going to slide the head further up the leg or grab all the big toes, lifting the head chest up. Tailbone automatically comes off. Continue to stretch hamstring. One more breath here, we're going 
to slowly release and down by your side. Getting ready for three rounds of leg lift. Lower down, first round, four, seven, six, five, four, three, two. When your legs are one feet off the ground, bend both knees, lift the legs back up to the sky. Catch your breath here. Second round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. When your legs are one feet off the ground, bend both knees, lift the legs back up. Take a breath here. Last round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Don't drop it. When your legs are one feet off the ground, stay here. Feel how tight it is in your quadricep, in your core abdominal muscles. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release everything down. Bounce a few times. Wrap your arms around your right knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. When releasing, gently pump it a few times. Inhale, relax the grip. Exhale, squeeze. Massage your organs on the right side of your body as well as ascending core. Left toes are facing the ceiling, so both legs are in front. Right hand on right knee, using a gentle circular motion, massaging the right hip joint. And reverse. Slowly come back to center, lifting the head chest up, grab your arms around your knees, lifting the left leg up, either point of flex. If you can grab hold the right foot, go ahead. More intensity here. Neck, shoulder, and upper back are relaxed. Now we're going to slowly release the head and the straight leg. Coming into a spinal twist. Right foot on left thigh. Using the left hand, gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Right arm on shoulder height. Palm facing up, palm facing down, doesn't matter. Both shoulders and shoulder blades are still on the mat. If your neck is good, turn a look at the right side. Stretch, strengthen and tone the lower back muscles. Keeping your spine healthy and strong, especially if you have back pain. One more breath, and we're going to slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, bounce a few times. we releasing on the left side, wrap your arms around the left knee, draw it close to the chest or armpit, gently pump it a few times. Inhale, relax the grip, exhale, squeeze. Massaging organs on the left side of your body, as well as descending colon. Be gentle with your body. Left hand on left knee, using a gentle circular motion, massaging the left hip joint. And reverse. Slowly come back to center. Lifting the head chest up, head to knee. Lifting the right leg off the mat. If you can grab on the left foot, go ahead. More intensity here. One more breath, and we're going to slowly release the head and straighten leg. Coming into a spinal twist. Left foot on right thigh. Using the right hand, gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Left arm long shoulder height. Shoulders and shoulder blades are still on the mat. Turn a little bit to the left side if your neck is good. 
We're very excited for us to try to bring the topic closer to the full. Any variation you like. If you like, you can extend the top leg, intertwine the legs like eagle leg, or cat holding the tail, opposite hand, opposite foot. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly bring everything back to the center. Straight out the legs. Five, so two times. Now we're going to come to happy baby. So keep your knees bent, lift the feet off the ground. Place the hand on the bottom of your feet. In the arch, out to arch. Grab a hold of the big toes or any part of the legs. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpit. Rocking side to side. Massaging the entire spine, entire back. Opening up the hip joint. Slowly come back to center, open up your legs in the main V, and you can continue to rock side to side, touching down on the floor of your leg if you have room. Stretching out the inner thighs as well. Slowly curve back to center. Keep your legs open in a big V. And down by your side. Stretch out the inner thighs. When you're ready, we're going to scissor the legs. One time in front, one time behind. Nice and slow. With control. Let's do another five. Four. Three. Two. One, slowly bring the legs together. With control, we're going to release the legs back down on your mat. Bounce it a few times. Coming into the fish pose. Lift your hips up, slide your head underneath your hip, thumb to touch. Point your toes. Inhale the lift the head chest up. Coming on your forearms. You can stay here if you like and lower the hand chest up and drop the crown of your head down towards the mat. Opening up the lung heart chest, helping people with breathing related issues like asthma. Taking a few breaths here. One more breath to come out of it. We're going to lift the hand chest up. Lower the upper body down. Lift the hip up. Sliding the hand back out from underneath. Taking a couple of common breaths here and we're going to get ready to come up. So keep your knees bent. Raise the right arm. Roll over to the right side. Making a pillow of the right tricep. When you're ready, we're gonna use the top hand to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. Stomach and chest proud. Just taking a couple of breaths here. And then we're gonna stretch out the neck next, you to shoulder extend the opposite arm. Using the same hand to guide our support there. Lengthening, stretch. And we're going to go to the other side. You two shoulder extend the opposite arm up. So just carry on while you can observe water. If there's any stiffness in your neck, any clicking sound, just stay there for a little bit longer. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Take an inhale, the center, exhale, turn over the right shoulder. 
Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Inhale, center, chin up, head back. And then chin to chest. Inhale, center, exhale, right armpit. Slightly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle. Inhale, center, exhale, left armpit. Slightly tuck the chin in. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Inhale, the right arm up. Bring it across the chest, supported by the other hand. Go back. Lengthening the shoulder. Stretch. Slowly release here. Same arm up. We lengthen the foot. Place the arm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow. Try some stretch. Chin up, looking forward. Slowly release, shake it out, the other side. Arm up and across, pull back. Shoulder stretch. And release, same arm up, willing to the first. Place the palm behind your back and use the other hand to guide the elbow. Try some stretch. Chin up, looking forward. Slowly release, shake it out, hands on shoulders, elbows in, elbows out. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Put a pinch of your shoulder blades, opening up the long half chest. When you're in the center position, we're going to go into a full circle. Try to bring the elbows in. Put a pinch of your shoulder blades. And reverse. Slowly come back to center, shake it out. Inhale, arms up, lengthen in the center. Exhale, bend towards the right side. Top arm is the crescent moon, looking up. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale to the other side, bending down. There's more room to come down, looking up. Inhale, arms up, lengthen to our long. Exhale to the right. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale to the other side. See if you can bend a little bit more in this side bend. One last set. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale to the right. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale to the other side. Slowly come back to center and we're going to get ready for a twist, opposite and opposite arm. Turn a little bit back, coming into a gentle twist. Inhale, arms up, lengthen, exhale to the other side. Couple more rounds. Inhale, arms up, lengthen, exhale to the right. See if you can turn a little bit more. Inhale, arms up, lengthen, exhale to the other side. Inhale, up, turn long, one last set. Exhale. Inhale, up, exhale to the other side. Slowly come back to center. I'm down by your side. Coming into tonsil turn, so starting our small circle. Gradually do a deeper and deeper tonsil turn. Moving your shoulders as well, warming up the spine. When you're in the center position, go the other way, reverse. Touching all four corners of your space. Slowly come back to center. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, bow down. Walking the fingers forward. Elbows off the mat. Neck and spine in one straight line. Lengthening the spine. Taking a few breaths here. One more breath. I'm going to walk the hands over to the right side as far as you can go. Feel a stretch in the side of your body. 
Inhale to come back to center. And we're going to walk to the other side as far as you can go. You're going to stretch to the side of your body. Slow to come back to center. And walking the hands back. Coming into your shoelace. One knee on top of the other. Doesn't matter which one is on top. Come forward. Knees on top of each other. Sit back down. Make sure the butt stay down. Grab a hold of opposite ankle. When you're ready, inhale the arms up, lengthen it. Exhale back down. Stay here for a moment. Shoelace is in yip pose, but we will stay for as long as a yip practice. Just a couple more breaths here. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly walk in the hands back and release. Straighten down the legs, pass it a few times. And we're gonna repeat shoelace on the other side, stacking the knees on top of each other. So we're gonna come forward and sit back down. A little bit of discomfort as we stretch our ligaments and tendons that we normally don't do in the yang practice. So we're going to inhale the arms up, exhale, bow down. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly walk in the hands back. Straighten up the legs, bounce on a few times. Get the flesh cut out from your butt. Sitting in the staff pose, point the toes up to the ceiling, hands by your side, stomach and chest proud, shoulders are on top of hip bones. Taking a few breaths here. Point and flex the feet. Ankle exercise. Stretch your hamstrings, pumping blood back to your heart. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, we're gonna hinge forward, leaning on the chest. Grow longer. Place your hands maybe beyond your feet. Holding on to any part of the feet, the legs. Release the hands on the eye side. If you use strap, use your yoga strap. Chin up, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring the stomach a little bit closer. Neck is long, spine is straight. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly climb back up. Coming into one leg forward bend, my left is your right, point the toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, arms up, relate them, exhale, hinging from the hips, leading with the chest. Holding on to any part of the foot, the leg, release the hands on either side, or use your yoga strap to help you get into the alignment. Use your inhale breath to lengthen, exhale, stomach come down a little bit more, then the chest, and it's the last thing. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly coming back up. Coming into a seated twist, bring the bend leg on the outside of the straight leg. Beginners, you can stay here. Those who can bend the bottom leg, go ahead. Both butts down, both feet on the ground. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine, or wrap around your waist. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder. Look at the back, turning the leg as well. Front arm can be stop sign hand, prayer hands, front the front hand through the tunnel, keep turning, massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. One more breath here, and we're going to slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist, bending down, there's more room to come down. 
as we stretch our lower back and oblique, the side of our front foot is on the mat, so you know that's the side you're going to. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly come back up. And we're going to repeat on the other side. So straighten up the legs, bounce a few times. Coming into one leg forward then, point the toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, hitch. Leaving with the chest. Fold forward, body is directly on top of the straight leg. Chin up, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, start to come down there a bit more than the chest. That is the last thing. Neck is long, spine is straight. One straight line. And if you have tight hamstrings, slightly bend the knee. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Coming into a seated twist, bring the bending on the outside of the straight leg. You can stay here if you like a bit more. Oh, butts down, both feet on the ground. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. Sit up tall. The other arm over and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Don't lean back too much. Front arm can be stop sign hand. Pray your hands. Run the front hand through this little hole. Any variation you like, you can challenge yourself. If your neck is good, turn a little bit back. Massage your internal organs. Helping you to digest and detox. With every exhale breath, see if you can turn a little bit more. One more breath. We're going to slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist. Bending elbows, more room to come down. Take a couple of breaths here as we stretch our lower back and oblique. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Straighten out the legs, and so a few times. Coming into a wide leg, so open up your legs in a big V. Point the toes up to the ceiling, get the flesh of that out from your butt. Sit up tall, inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, we're going to hinge forward, leaning with the chest. Bring the hands in front of you, we're not reaching forward. Bending the elbows, more room to come down, and we're not doing head to brown. They are tired, it has to come down. So we keep rolling the hip forward. Slightly bend the knees if needed, if you have tight hamstrings. Inhale to lengthen, prepare. Exhale to fold. Keeping your neck and your spine in one straight line. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Coming into a slide bend. So, right finger hooking onto the right toes, bring the toes to you. If you cannot touch the toes, so on to any part of the legs, or release the head. Bending now, with more room to come down. Left arm up, reach and stretch. Open up the hand, look at the top thumb. After you lengthen, you can slowly bring the top arm over, bring it behind your head, keeping the top elbow up and open, looking up. Feel the stretch in the left side of your body, stretching out the organs on the left side, stimulating meridian points. One more breath and we'll wrap the top arm around your waist, keeping the top shoulder up and open, looking up. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Doing a forward bend on the right leg, so we're going to fold the leg that we're not using. Adjust yourself. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, turn to the right leg. Shift forward, holding on to any part of the leg for the toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Now we're not doing head to knee. So we always want to pay attention to our alignment. 
Good posture always. One more breath, and we'll slowly come up. Walk the hands over to the other side, getting ready for the gate pose. Spread all your fingers, align the wrists of the shoulders. Use your strong core and the straight leg to lift your hips off the ground. Top arm up if you wish. Now you can stay here if you like, you can make it a balanced pose by lifting the straight leg on your point of flex. That would engage the top leg. Stomach is tight. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly bring everything down. And we're going to repeat everything on the other side. So we're going to go back to wide leg. If wide leg is difficult for you, for the leg that you're not using, you're going to reach for the left toes. Bend the now, there's more room to come down. Right arm up, reach and stretch. After you lengthen, we're going to slowly bring the top arm over. Don't worry about touching toes or touching anything. You can place the top hand behind your head, keeping the top elbow up and open, looking up. Good stretch in the right side of your body. Stretching out the organs on the right side, stimulating meridian points. Wrapping the top arm around your waist, reach for the opposite thigh, keeping the top shoulder up and open. If you like, you release the bottom arm. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly come back up. And we're going to do a form of bend on this leg. So we're going to fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale, arms up. We lift that first. Exhale, hitch. Leading with the chest. Fold forward, holding on to any part of the foot, the leg. So release the hands on either side. Chin up, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. One more breath, and we're going to slowly come back up. I'm going to walk the hands over to the other side, getting ready for gate pose. Extend the top leg, grounding the straight leg. Wrist, shoulder align, use your strong core. To lift the hips up, top arm up. Now you can stay here if you like and lift up the straight leg. I have a point of flex, now I'm going to engage the top leg. One more breath, I'm going to slowly, slowly coming back down. Just going to arrange your wiper, so I'm going to keep the knees bent, hands behind you, finger facing the same way as your feet. Dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. The knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Open up and drop both knees to the right side. Make sure the butt stay down. Look at the opposite side. You should feel the stretch here, watch the sub hip joint. One more breath, and we're going to slowly bring the knee back to center and we'll open up and drop them to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. Make sure the butt stay down. You should feel the stretch here, watch the sub hip joint. Look at the opposite side. Slowly, slowly release, and we're going to come to the bow pose. Get the flesh of butt out, bend both knees, hands underneath the kneecap. Come up on your tippy toes when you're ready. Lift your feet off the ground. Don't lean back too much. First round can be supported. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly release. Come down. Catch your breath. Another round when you're ready. Set yourself up, hands underneath the kneecap, bend both knees, left arm. You can continue to hold on this way, this way. When you're ready, you can let go. Stay in here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. Very good. One last round. 
on your tiptoes, lift off. You can continue to hold on. Or let go. Or we can sit to the hands for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, very good. Slowly release, come down, bounce it out. Slowly transition to come down on all four. Neutral table top. Spread all your fingers, hands underneath the shoulder, knees underneath the hip, top of the feet on the mat, neutral spine. Getting ready for cat and cow. Inhale, draw your belly. Chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly tight, looking down into a cat. So we're going to do it a few times. Set your own pace and your own breath. Inhale one way. Exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between vertebrates. Warming up the spine. Two more times. Can and cow also help you to relieve back pain? One last one. Slowly curl back to neutral spine, sway side to side, release tension in your wrist. Coming into our balance, right arm the left leg out, right thumb to the sky, back toes down, core strong. Staying here for three, two, one, and release. Repeat on the other side, left arm and right leg out, rigid stretch, lengthening. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Staying here for three, two, one and release. Swing side to side here. And we're gonna get ready to come up. So spread all your fingers, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. Lifting the hips high, high up. Upside down, let it be. Pushing the mat away. Walking it up out. Release the head down. Inhale, come up on your tiptoes, stretching out the toes. Exhale to lower the heel back down. One more time. Inhale, up on toes. Exhale, down. Slowly walk forward towards the hands, coming into a forward bend. All ten toes facing in front, legs are hip width. Dangle here for a moment. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows or behind the legs. Hip goes above, back of bows. Now stick in the butt out. Lengthening the spine, stretching our hamstrings. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Just be mindful that head is below heart, so if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of it. One more breath and we'll get ready to come up. Hands some waist for support. Inhale halfway up to a flat back. Exhale to slowly come up to standing. Let your breath pressure get used to this. Once you come all the way up, back bend to come to. Place your hand behind your lower back. Pinkies touching. Squeeze the shoulder blade together. Lifting chin up and up now. Not pushing the hips forward. Shoulders and hips are level. Once again, feel the pinch of your shoulder blades, opening up the lung, heart, chest, stimulating thyroid gland. And we're going to slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Coming to our sun salutation. Top of your mat, big toes to touch. A lighter edge of your feet to the edge of your mat. So listen to your body always, whether you're a new or regular yoga practitioner. Inhale, your arms up. Back bend. Exhale, forward bend. 
Inhale, halfway up to flat back, hands on chin, eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on mat, set the right leg back and then the left leg. Shifting the way forward to plank. Beginners to drop your knees. Tap your elbow by your side and down. Inhale, cobra for beginners or up dog. Shoulders relax, eyes looking up. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips higher. Coming into a down dog. We're staying here for five breaths. Spread all your fingers. Middle index finger facing forward. Separate your feet. Two fists apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Feel free to walk the dog out by alternating bending your knees. Release the head down. Eyes are located at your toes, knees are very lovely. Now we look between the hands. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale halfway up to a flat back. Exhale forward bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale your arms all the way up. Back bend. And then arm down by your side. Into a mountain pose. Tall and strong in mountain. Carry on. Inhale your arms up, upper salute, back bend, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale, hands on mat, step the left leg back and then the right leg. Shifting the way forward, chaturanga is on one breath, elbows lower than the shoulders. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, to down dog. Lifting the hips high, high up, pushing the mat away. Upside down, let it be. Shifting half of the weight towards the legs to minimize impact on the wrist. Coming into a low lunge on the right side. Inhale, right foot forward towards the right hand. Left knee on the mat. Front knee is on top of the ankle, squaring the hip to the front. Arms up, holding onto your ball. Palm facing each other, pinky slightly curved in. Shoulders relax down from the ears. Eyes looking up. Do not tip the head back. Couple more breaths here. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Place the palm together, release index finger. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to sink. Slide back bend, looking up. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Both hand on the big toe side, heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot out to the edge of the mat. Coming into a little dragon. Feel free to come on the baby toe side of your foot. Rocking forward, backwards. Side to side to open up the right hip wall. Those who can come down on the forearms and up on the back toes, go ahead. Now, if that's too much for you, please push yourself back up to the hand level. Listen to your body always to avoid injury. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release, walking the right foot back to the center of the mat. Getting ready for the twist. Turn the body to the right side. Left elbow on the outside of the thigh. Hands in prayer, press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. Those who can come up on the back toes, go ahead. Lift the heel high, high up. And if you want to open up the arms for more resistance, go ahead. One more breath here. We're going to slowly release. Hands on mats. Make your way into the back of the mat for a hamstring stretch. Now, this is where you are. Stay here. If you can sit on your heel, go ahead. Or you can come sit down on the mat. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale. Hit you from the hips. Leading with the chest. Fold forward. Slightly bend the right knee if needed if you have tight hamstring. Once again, chin up, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. 
Lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles. Right hamstring and left ankle joint if you're sitting on the ankle. One more breath and we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Make your way to the top of the mat. We're gonna switch side, hands on mat, tuck the back toes and step the right leg back. Come forward to plank. Chaturanga is all one breath. Lower down. Inhale, cobra is for modification or up dog. Exhale to down dog. Lifting the hips high up, pushing the mat away, walking it up out. And we're going to repeat on the other side. So left foot forward towards the left hand, right knee on the mat. Front knees 90 degree on top of the ankle, square the hip to the front, arms up, holding onto your wall. Shoulders relax down from the heels. Engage your arms. Palms facing each other. Pinky slightly curved in. Place the palm together. Release index finger. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to sink. Feel the stretch in the right hip flexor. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release. Both hand on the big toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot up to the edge of the mat. Coming into a little dragon. Feel free to come on the baby toe side of the foot. Rocking forward, backwards, side to side. Opening up the left hip bone. Those who can come down the forearms and up on the back toes, go ahead. Now we're not doing head to ground. Keeping your neck and your spine in one straight line. If this is too much for you, please push yourself back up to the hand level. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly coming back up. Pushing yourself back up. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot back to the center of the mat. Getting ready for the twist. Turn the body to the left side. Right elbow on the other side with five. Hands in prayer, press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. Those two can come up on the back toes. Lift the heel high, high up. Now you can open up the arms for more resistance. You can place the right hand down for more support. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release. Make your way to the back of the mat for hamstring stretch. Now, if this is where you are, stay here. Point the toes up to the ceiling. If you can sit back on the heels, go ahead. Or sit down on the mat. Inhale, the right arm up, we'll lengthen first. Exhale, hinge, leading of the chest, holding on to any part of the foot or toe. Chin is away from the body, your eyes will be forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Neck and spine in one straight line. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Make your way to the top of the mat. Hands on mat. Tuck the back toes and step the left leg back. Coming forward to play. Lower down. Inhale, cobra up top. Exhale to down down. Adjust your foundation, lifting the hips high, high up, pushing the mat away. Coming into a pigeon, left foot down, right leg up, three leg to split. Bending into the back leg, look underneath the right arm pit for a twist. I'm going to sway the back leg all the way to the top of the mat. Right knee to right wrist. Flexing the foot to protect your knee. Slide the back leg up. Back leg is straight and in the center. Top of the foot on the mat. Make sure the ankle doesn't fall one way or the other. Squaring the hip to the front. Slowly come down. Forehead on stack hands, stack fist. Or come all the way down. If you like, you can also rest your forehead on the block. Three different heights. 
Now make sure you haven't come lopsided. Both hips are level. Feel free to rock forward, backward, side to side. Get a stretch here, right hip flexor. So those who need modification, please lie down your back, going into a figure four. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly come off it. Meet you in Dang Dong, tuck the back toes and step the right leg back. Walking it up now, pushing the mat away. Shoulders are external rotation, elbows are internal rotation, eye of the elbow facing each other. Pigeon on the other side, right foot down, left leg up, three leg to split. We're gonna bend into the back leg, look underneath the left armpit fortress. Swing the back leg all the way to the top of the mat. Knee to wrist, legs in the front to protect your knee. Slide the back leg out, back with the straight and in the center. Swing your hip to the front. Slowly come down, forehead on stack, hands stack, fist, or come all the way down, or feel free to use the block to rest the forehead. The stretch is here, left hip flexor. And you can continue to roll forward, backwards, side to side. Finding juicy position to settle in. One more breath here, and we're gonna slowly release. We drain down dog. Take your time to come up. Tap the back toes and step back into a down dog. Walking it out, oh, release the head down. Last down dog in the sequence. Shifting half of the weight towards the legs to minimize impact on your wrist. One more breath here. Look between the hands, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up to a flat back. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale to a chair. Raising your heels, you can see your toes with your toes. Slightly tuck the tailbones in to put out your back. Don't push the knee beyond your toes. Strong arm, strong core, work the thighs. One more breath, and we're going to power out with the strong legs. Back bend, and then I'm down with your side. Into a mountain pose. So staying in mountain pose, arms by your side, palm facing forward. Soft knees. Close your eyes for a moment. Slowing down the heartbeat. Make a fist. Inhale, shoulders up to your ears. Make a tight, tight, tight. Slide it out to the knees again. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, let it go. One more. Inhale, shoulders up. Bring your hands to our center. Thank you very much for watching, sharing your energy with all of us, and letting me guide you through this practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.